I'm Angie. So glad you joined us today. I want to share a quote with you today by David Wilkerson. like this. When God calls you to something, he's not always calling you to succeed. He's calling you to obey. The success of the calling is up to him. Obedience, it's up to you. You know, I'm guilty of this same very thing where, um, you know, we have this great commission to go and save the lost. And I put a lot of pressure on myself. Oh, I've got to save all these people. And then I have all this pressure. I'm starting to do all these things in the flesh. It's not really productive for anybody, including me. And then I went out and it wasn't very uh, successful as, as far as people getting saved. But when we do things God's way, and we are tuned to His voice and not doing ministry or doing things in our flesh and we are just stopping and saying Lord what do you want me to do what do you want me to do with you we'll find that when we are totally dependent on him that he typically brings results and a lot of times what God's doing we may not see those results immediately we may hear years down the road hey man you know, when you said such and such, or you did such and such, God really uh, impacted my life. And I remember hearing, you know, just a testimony. But you may not get that. You may not even hear that uh, you've impacted someone's life until maybe you see them in heaven. So obedience is the key here. When you hear God's voice, obey it. You know, uh, delayed obedience is disobedience. You know, I just want to say one more thing here. It's super important uh, that was brought out to me. That's about obedience and dependency. One of the definitions of pride is being independent from God. So we have to really analyze our motives and what we're doing. Are we going out and doing these things in ministry because it's the right thing to do and we're just trying to uh, obey the word, but do it independently from God without his spirit. And when we find ourselves doing things independently from God, maybe in his name, we're doing the wrong thing. And we need to reel ourselves back, spend some time in prayer, and really hear from the Lord. Because He will share with you what to do. And when you're out and about, say Walmart, uh, Best Buy, all the shopping places, and He may put someone on your path and say, I need you to go tell them something. And it's in that moment that that obedience is super important and that you rely on Him for the results. So make a decision of your will right now that you are going to simply obey. You know, and that you're going to rely on him for all the strength, the grace you need to do it. And 1 Corinthians, Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And the Bible also says that God is working in us to work and to do those things which give him pleasure. So be encouraged and go out and share your bright light with obedience. This neighborhood's not normally noisy like this, is it? I just bind these devils in the name of Jesus, Father. I bind the devil right now, God, in Jesus' name. I speak peace in Jesus' name. Um, and, and we put a lot of, and I, I, I have, and, it goes like this. You said it right after me. Okay. sentence in your head. Yeah. God calls you something he's not always going like to succeed. Mom, do me a favor. I noticed in the last video, uh, you're talking and you're clicking and are close okay. together and so people are like, you can see you clicking through. Okay, okay. Okay, come back. So, just pause. Okay. Get your click done. Okay. And then continue. <laughs> okay. When God what calls you... What I need you to do, Mom, is uh, don't talk right after me. Cause it, okay. It goes like this. 